beautiful people losing Julia here and it is uh Wednesday, February the eighth, two thousand and twelve at four fifty one in the afternoon. And what I'm showing you here is my subscription page. Um I'm trying to get caught up with videos. I have a lot of people that I subscribe to. There's a list of people here that keeps going, 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 going. And um, whenever you guys update with a new video, they come here on the subscriptions page. So as they come in, I try to watch them. And I'm busy, and I'm doing and running and going, and, you know, hubby's having some med medical issues, and I've been running around with him, and I haven't really had the time to watch all the videos, but I'm just about caught up right to this moment now at this time. I have 10 videos to watch. And who are they but my wonderful, beautiful online friend who I met here on YouTube and I just absolutely love and adore, Country Girl 555, Tina. And so, yeah, I'm caught up with everybody's videos and I've watched them and I've commented on them. Tina, I'm getting to yours, honey. I will be there or should be there shortly. Um, there's only... Uh, two major ones that are long, one major, major one, which is like 42 minutes um, and 35 seconds long, and then another one that's 18 minutes and 5 seconds long. Surprisingly enough, um, most of your other videos are only about a minute and or nine minutes or four minutes or seven minutes or six minutes. And you even have one that I was surprised to see was only for 20 seconds. Uh, that, in addition to the one that I saw uh, that I watched in the middle of the night where uh, some redneck ran into somebody's patio. And I thought that, that was just absolutely hilarious because stuff like that happens here in Miami, Florida all the time where people are driving, they end up in somebody's yard through their fence and into their house or into their pool or what have you. And they have no idea how they got there. At least that's always the case when they get there. But anyways, I was just stating the fact that I'm getting all caught up with my videos and I apologize for being a little bit behind. I do have another channel um, for any of uh, my subscribers here on my Losing Drea channel who have also subscribed to my other channel, uh, Creative Babe. And I want to apologize that even though I've mentioned it here, I haven't really been on there. I haven't signed in there for any reason whatsoever. It's my craft channel and since I've been on this lifestyle journey, I've all, been all about my health and my well-being and my lifestyle changing um, and not so much as my craft, even though it's always in the back of my mind to get back to that because believe it or not, crafting is a really large part of exercise. You literally burn calories when you're painting or when you're playing with clay or when you're making something, you're creating something, not to mention the therapeutic properties that it has uh, on your mind and your well-being. And keeping busy is a good thing, too, because it might keep you from thinking about food and eating and then munching on stuff. Now, that's another thing, talking about munching on stuff, I've been really guilty for. Let me turn this camera on, you know. I've been, I probably look like hell. I've been guilty for munching on stuff I shouldn't be munching on lately. Now, I went ahead about a week ago and I made a rice pudding recipe that I wanted to post that I, I will eventually probably get around to posting it. But, and I, and I know I'm shaking this camera like crazy, um, but I uh, have to say that that's not a recipe that is going to be figure friendly. However, recently I went ahead and I tweaked it a little bit and I made it figure friendly. But what happens is the stuff tastes so incredibly delicious. Let me try to get this so I can put it down. The stuff tastes so incredibly delicious that I can't help but end up eating the whole entire thing. Maybe it's a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there. But I end up eating that and then, okay, nothing else. Not good. And then when Hubby was doing his little appointment thing, I was running in with him and feeding him. And then we ate out and we did a couple of things. And I don't like to eat out because... A lot of restaurants don't put the nutritional facts anywhere in the restaurant where you can see what you're eating. They don't measure the food out. They're not really concerned with portion control. And, you know, they charge you all this money for all this food, and you really have to take some of it home. I don't know why they just don't have a restaurant that just doesn't um, do all the guesswork, you know, take all the guesswork out of it and allow you to have a place that you can either go as a fast food option or go in another direction of the restaurant 
as a, you know, hey, honey, let's go out for a romantic dinner option where you can then sit down and you know what you're eating, you know what's going into your food, you know they're measuring it, and that that's definitely what's going in your food. I mean, I want to create that. So if any of you are out there and you're watching this and you want to become a part of, like, a multi uh million dollar restaurant chain of restaurants. Um, the first one I'm thinking is going to go up uh, probably here in Miami, Florida. Uh, I'll put it in a plaza next to a uh, major workout chain. And there'll be options on the menu for those, like for kids and stuff who maybe aren't on the like figure friendly uh, necessar necessity kind of lifestyle and then there'll be things for just in general because you know not having these menu options and not having a place to go and eat these things and having a place to go where you're expected to have the willpower to stop and eat half or three quarters of the way when you're done or putting that aside when they give it all to you it's just it's not an option I just think it's wrong you know it's that is part of the society that's made us fat it's made us the way we are and it's caused us to be the size we are today And had people thought about having low-carb, low-fat alternative type of options that they give you in the grocery store if you're going to cook the stuff for yourself, but not in restaurants. And it's just a horrible feeling. You know, yesterday we went to a place called Tijuana Flats. And Tijuana Flats is a Mexican kind of a, it's almost like fast food. You order at the counter, but then they bring it to you and you sit down. Delicious. We had something called a flutas or something. And it was absolutely yummy. But it's sort of a flash fried, sort of a, a like a wrap or a burrito. Um, absolutely delicious. The little bit of crunch you get from the wrap is awesome. But, you know, we're telling the guy that, you know, my husband's a diabetic. We don't really know what to eat. We're both on diets anyways. And, you know, I'm not there. Like, I'm being the boss of my loss. I'm not there. I don't care what he thinks about it. I don't care if I'm giving him a hard time. You know, my husband might be feeling embarrassed about, you know, like, hey, I'm being a little too picky or whatever. But, hey, is this guy going to run 10 miles for me and take off the weight that I might put on from eating a couple of things? Or do you think he should be helpful enough to let me know that they have a Power Light menu where they can give you a whole wheat alternative wrap, they can give you a fat-free sour cream, and they can give you mozzarella light, low skim, low, you know, the regular low skim mozzarella that we eat, um, that we buy in, you know, little grocery store, whatever stuff. You know, you, you think he would mention half that to me. We're sitting down waiting for the food. I look up. I see a sign, Power Light. Da 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 da. No, we have fat-free sour cream and whole wheat wrap. Okay, all all we found out about was the whole wheat wrap, and that's because I seen it on the menu. I didn't see nothing about the cheese being lighter, and so I opted for no cheese when maybe I would have gotten at least light cheese and enjoyed a little bit of cheese. Um, and then the sour cream, which he claimed was horrible. Let me tell you what. Mr. I work at Tijuana Flats in Miramar. Uh, that sour cream was absolutely delicious alongside of that guacamole. I did not find a problem with it at all. Maybe if you put yourself on a lifestyle regimen where you cared enough about your health, you would try and keep an open mind about the fat-free sour cream that y'all serve and stop telling people that it doesn't taste good because it was absolutely delicious. I didn't find any difference in the taste from regular sour cream. Just didn't. Okay. With that said, I just want people to know that, you know, I care about what I eat. And because I care about what I eat, that's why I've been successful in losing this weight on my own without any programs, without doing anything. You know, so far, knock on wood, so good. I'm doing my thing. So, you know... It, I get what I get out of watching the people I subscribe to's videos. I get what I get when you guys watch my videos and you comment and you give me feedback on my videos and what I'm doing and you encourage me and you give me motivation. And I believe that of all the tools, whether it's measuring cups and spoons or diet scales or food equivalent charts or whatever it is that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, to make sure that I keep within my portions and I write it when I bite it and all these things that I do, I learn 
from YouTube. So I have to say that YouTube is one of the largest, biggest, and probably the best tool of all the tools that I use. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, I see some of you out there wanting to quit doing YouTube. I'm not mentioning any names, but my heart goes out to you guys because I feel like you're making a mistake. You're doing the wrong thing. I'm not going to dedicate this video to anybody. It's a little bit of mishmash of everything, but I'm throwing that out there. If you just happen to be watching my video and you think you're going to stop doing YouTube videos, do not stop. This is the greatest tool that you can possibly be using for yourself and your lifestyle change. And you have to do it forever. Don't be deleting your old videos. Use them to look back and learn from them. Allow other people to use them and look back and see where you came from and be motivated and inspired by you because you can't do this on your own. And you're not going to do this on your own. You didn't do it before on your own. If you look back, like I'm looking back, you probably never lost as much weight in your life without this tool called YouTube. And I'm not a spokesperson for YouTube. In fact, I kind of hate some of the stuff that people are doing or not doing because they think this uh, monetizing of their videos, you know, oh, they took away the monetizing. Well, guess what? If you don't have at least 100 videos up and you don't have at least so many subscribers, your monetizing is probably going to get taken away for that reason, although they might give you some other dumb reason and say you've been click-bombed. Anybody can click-bomb your videos. They could just sit there and click, click, click. That's a click-bomb, okay? And that will get you thrown off of monetizing. It's one reason why I haven't decided to use my account for YouTube videos because I don't want to get click-bombed. I use my monetizing with my Google AdSense for uh, my website, my blog, whatever like that. That's somewhere you're less likely to get click bombs from. Um, but if you have less than 100 videos, don't even bother. You are probably going to get kicked off. I'm just saying. It just seems to be that way. The majority of the people I see getting their accounts closed from AdSense uh, through the Google, uh, through the YouTube, Google thingy, whatever it's called, they've been uh, with under 100 videos easily. Okay, so um, if you're someone watching this video and you stopped making videos on YouTube and you want to go to Zipcast or you want to go to Bitcast or I don't know what they're called, um, Blip, Blip TV, whatever the case may be, those things are not where I found you and it takes more effort for me to go to those places and see your videos and then have to join in order to comment. So, you know, I'm sorry if I don't comment. It's not that I don't go see those videos for some of you that have done that. But, you know, you're doing yourself an injustice all to try to hurt YouTube. And I don't see where YouTube really has anything to do with the AdSense of Google. I think that is separate. It's just that they might make a little bit of a kickback from um, whatever earnings are generated themselves by allowing you – to use your AdSense account through your videos that they will host on their website. Other than that, I don't think there's an affiliation of the two. And it's not YouTube that's canceling or closing your account for, for click abomination or whatever. So don't do yourself the injustice by quitting doing videos here on YouTube or do yourself the injustice by just not doing uh, videos at all or trying to go to another platform to do your videos on. Okay, that's all I want to say, guys. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you. Be the boss of your loss. And it's uh, all I want to say. Love you guys. Peace out.